Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what is I think the best striker in Ultimate Team at the moment in terms of how much he costs, um, how many goals he scored for me and just how well he performs in general to be honest each game. So um, you're probably thinking it's Castro team of the season but it's actually Calleon. Um He's a really good player, he plays, he plays up front with Castro, um, they get loads of goals between them uh, with Morata just behind them, obviously really good player as well. But um, yeah, he just sort of feeds off of off of these two players here, um, and just gets so many goals. To be honest, I've had him since the start of FIFA, um, and he's just always been a great player for me. I use him in this four-one-two-one-two formation um, as well, which is always which has always been really good. Um, I'll move on to his stats, as you can see um, on his card. He's got 90 pace and 83 dribbling. I'd say. To be honest, in my opinion, he feels a lot quicker than, than that. Um, I've used players like Aubameyang before, who's a striker, and who apparently has 96 pace, um, so it says on his card. But he's never really felt that quick, Aubameyang. Um, and I'd say this guy definitely feels a lot quicker than him, like off the mark. And um, just in general, to be honest, which is kind of strange, considering Aubameyang's like a good 6 pace quicker than him. Um, in terms of dribbling, Calleon feels a lot, a lot better than 83. I'd say he feels more like an 88 dribbler, you know, he can just breeze past players, he's really good, really fast. Um, his shooting as well, um, it's great one-on-one -on -one finishing, um, long shots even as well, really good, he'll certainly put away a few goals. Um, his passing 73, uh, which is pretty good, because I think he's usually a cam, but I converted him to a striker just because, you know, he, he's a lot better in striker I find, but uh, yeah, he's got really good passing so he can play it to other players as well. Um, in terms of his physical, it obviously isn't great. He's only five foot ten, sixty-two physical, but um, I don't think that really makes too much of a difference on his card, just because um, of how quick he is and how he can just sort of accelerate away from defenders instead of get on like get with like one-on-one -on -one battles with them. Um, as you can see, he's got a high medium work rate, so there's lots of runs. I think he's got like ninety or eighty-nine attacking positioning, so he's always in the right place at the right time. Um, making all those good runs in behind. As you can see, uh, right footed, two star weak foot. I'd say he feels a lot more like a four star weak foot to be honest. He's put away um, a lot of goals with his left foot. So yeah, his weak foot feels very strong in my opinion. Um, in terms of skill moves, three stars, no complaining about that really. Um, to be honest, I only need sort of basic skill moves. I don't really use many complex ones. Um, I know some people prefer to have sort of five star, four star skillers but um, 3 star works fine for me. So that's enough of me talking guys, I'll run you through some clips so you can see um, the sort of goals he scores and just the, in general how he plays in game to be honest. Um, I hope you enjoy, remember to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe uh, for more daily FIFA content and I will see you in the next video.